Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I am James and you are watching Blue Dog Reptiles. I do apologize uh, that we didn't get a video out last week. The day got away from me really bad and I do apologize for that. But we are bringing you super something super special today. And that is the care guide on our red Aki. Now she has gotten so much bigger. There she is. She's a little salty with me because I just took out her background and she doesn't like it. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, so I went through and I, I redid her enclosure. Um, I took out her background because it's really hard for people to see her when she hides behind the background constantly. And she's like, I don't know about this. I don't know. But guys, thank you to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Uh, make sure to like and uh, hit that notification bell. It really does help out the channel. And you guys are absolutely amazing for tuning in. But without further ado, let's get on to this pretty girl. Yeah, your background's not back there anymore. I'm sorry, you, you, you can't do it. So, Aki Monitors, uh, world's smallest monitor or one of them. Um, these guys come from the woodlands in Australia. Yeah, it's crazy. This is a captive bred red Aki. Um, she, man, it's crazy because we've had her since she was like this big and now she is about a foot. I, I haven't got an accurate measurement on her lately because she's always hiding behind the background. But anyway, Overall size for these guys as adults is 24 inches. So she's about halfway. Um, the enclosure she's in right now is a 36 by 24 by 24. They actually don't even make this enclosure anymore, which sucks. But this is a temporary home. Uh, I hope that she's not with me uh, for, you, you, you can't get back there. Oh, I oh, freak out. I know, I know. Oh, I know. It's going to make it more interesting for you to see and find bugs, but you'll be fine. Yeah, she's going to be exploring for a while. <laughs> like I said, I just redid her setup. But, yeah, 24 inches long, which is a very manageable size for a monitor. Um, these guys will eat eggs, they'll eat uh, small mammals, so rats, um, mice, um, but their primary diet is insects. You can cause them to become obese and overweight if you feed them too many rodents. So primary diet should be insects. Are you just staring at yourself? Or are you huffing over there? Are you pouting? Don't do that. You're better than that. Enclosure, we kind of covered what this one is. So this is a temporary enclosure for her. Um, but like I said, it's a 36 by 24 by 24. Um, when she gets a little bit bigger, which probably in the next three to four months, we're gonna have to move her to something bigger. As adults, they should be in a five foot long by two and a half foot wide by four foot high enclosure. So a lot of custom there. You also want plenty of places for them to climb around on. Um, hence why we have, um, I actually just got this piece. It, it's an artificial piece and it was meant for aquariums, but I really like the vibe and look and there is plenty of places for her to burrow. Um, and that is the other thing. So, and you can see we have live plants, help with humidity. Um, there was another live plant over there, but she killed it. Um, apparently it looked at her wrong and she was like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> Quit pouting. She's so weird, but I love her. Substrate. So for babies, so right now we have about nine inches of substrate in here. It tapers toward the back. Um, so it's closer to a foot uh, in the background. That is the bare minimum amount of substrate 
to use for an Aki monitor. As adults, these guys need closer to 12 to 24 inches of substrate with which, uh, so this is actually a mixture of uh, Eco Earth and uh, cocoa fiber. Um, we have some sphagnum moss and some sheet moss mixed in here. Um, if I have her long enough, I think I will do um, the clay burrow sand for her so she can burrow a lot better. Um, I mean, she can burrow just fine in this substrate, um, but I just want her to be happy. And honestly, with how much she is, she might be with me for the long haul, just like our mangrove monitor. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you like red Ackies? And it's crazy, because so like this is a red Aki, and you also have yellow Ackies, but red Ackies are more expensive. Oh, I know. I, oh, wow, oh, wow. I thought you were coming out the door. I had to make sure. I had to make sure to protect you. You can't go through that. That's glass. Are, are you coming up? Are you going to climb? You, you can't climb glass. Like I said, she's special. And that might be something too. I, I have noticed with some of my monitors with the glass background, uh, they tend to freak out a little bit. So I might end up pulling these enclosures out and blacking out the sides so that they feel more safe and more um, comfortable. And so she's not doing <laughs> glass surfing. What? Oh, I know. Basking spots for these guys as adults uh, is typically about 100 to 120 degrees. Um, the overall ambient temperature should be 84 to 100 degrees. And then at night, their cool side should be uh, 75 to 82. These guys do need UVB. So right now we're running a T5 high output. Um, as they get bigger and you get a bigger enclosure, you will have to up that to a uh, T10 high output and just make sure to read the measurements. I always go with Arcadia. I, I like how Arcadia is. What? You're such a goober. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I touched you. Oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You're so cute. Humidity for these guys should be between 50 and 65%. Um, a lot of that can be accomplished by, like I said, we have live plants in here. Um, and then also the substrate that we have um, will help retain that humidity. We also have a drainage layer in this enclosure to help with humidity. You're making me nervous. You're not, I guess you're not used to the doors being open this much, so. You're so weird. No, we're gonna go, we're not gonna go up my arm today. We're gonna go that way. Yeah, go check out, do you have a piece of a cricket in your mouth? So weird. Anyway, 50 to 65%. We also do, uh, uh, we do spray the enclosures, um, typically in the morning and the evening. Um, that way we can regulate our temperature. Yeah, see, she's exploring. Now, finally we come down to Price. Oh man, I tried taking a picture of her because she had a really cool like Velociraptor look. Are you getting ready to shed again? Oh no! I'm trying to get the stuff shed off your... You're so weird. Okay. I'll leave you be. Anyway. So price for babies for captive bread. And now she's gonna stay hidden in the back where we can't see her. Oh, no, she's, yeah, she's trying to get this shed off her nose. Uh, price for babies is typically anywhere between um, two to $500 uh, for captive breads. And I, like I said, I always recommend going captive bread. Um, now, 
adults or sub-adults. So like she would be classified as a sub-adult. There you go. These guys can go anywhere from uh, the most expensive ad adult female that I've seen went for about $2,200. So they can get very, very pricey. So, um, but her, about her size goes for about 1000 to 1500 <clears throat> Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on our red Aki monitor. I know you guys enjoy seeing her. If you'd like to see any new videos, please leave us a comment down below on uh, video suggestions, and we'll be happy to do those for you guys. As always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next week.